now it's on to the rendering settings. So uh, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this area. So I just want this particular area selected. Uh, since it's a short clip, it wouldn't really matter. Uh, anyway, uh, so uh, go to File, Render As, and then uh, make sure you select Main Concept AVC, AAC, MP4. Okay, uh, I, I have a preset already done. So uh, you can go ahead and select any one of these, but you can go default template and create your own. Uh, but anyway, we'll go to this one. I'll show you my settings. So as you can see here, again, I keep the uh, the uh, frame or the uh, frame size the same. Profile, make you make sure you set it to main. The frame rate, I'm still playing around with this. Uh, some people suggest you put it at 30 frames for YouTube. Some people say leave it at 60. Uh, one thing I have noticed on my NHL videos uh, recently, uh, since using MP4, is that at the very end it seems to lose. Uh, the audio seems to go out of sync a little bit. Uh, I found that by putting it at 30, it seems to fix that. So I'm going to try a few more videos to see if I can, uh, if it uh, if it makes a difference to put it at 30 or not for YouTube. I hear that YouTube automatically drops every video you upload to 30 frame rates and or 30 frames anyway. So I'm assuming by doing this, uh, you're doing a job for YouTube anyway, and you, you don't have to rely on YouTube to, uh, you know, mess up your video or whatever. So anyway, I, that's uh, why I said 30. Uh, field order, uh, it's to non progressive scan. Uh, pixel aspect ratio to 1. I believe all these are pretty much standard anyway. Number of reference frames, I set to 4. Uh, make sure you have use deblocking filter checked. And uh, I have the bit rate to uh, to uh, eight million. Uh, you can do it in constant bit rate, but I find uh, it doesn't want to stay. So I, I go, what I do to get around that to trick it is I go to variable bit rate. I select I, I put the number in both uh, the maximum and average. So regardless, it's going to be eight uh, million or eight megabytes for audio. Uh, I put the bit rate to 128. That's perfectly fine for uh, YouTube, especially if it's just commentaries. Uh, and then for the uh, project, I set the rendering quality to best. Once you have that all done, you can edit your uh, template file name and then you can save it to whatever you like. Uh, I have multiple profile templates that I have, so I have one for 30 and one for 60. Uh, so you can do that as well and then uh, that's it so you go ahead and click OK and then like I said make sure you have your template selected uh, this is key if you're doing what I just did here which was uh, make put a, a, a specific area or region make sure you have render loop region only otherwise it's going to render the whole video uh, this is uh, really uh, good if you wanted to just uh, test a part of the video to see how it turns out and then another thing I do, uh, no particular reason, it just stretch a video to output source. Uh, you really don't need to do that. It's just something I do. Uh, basically, if you're putting uh, 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 like full screen uh, captures, it'll it'll stretch the uh, thing. Uh, some people like that. Some people don't. So it's up to you. Uh, since most of mine's uh, widescreen, uh, I just leave it stretched. And uh, that's basically it. So go ahead and name your clip whatever you like. I'll just put the tutorial. And then go ahead and save it. Now, depending on the, uh, the speed of your computer, uh, this can take anywhere from, and depending on your clip size as well, anywhere from a couple of minutes to hours. So uh, it really comes down to your uh, computer speed. I find for roughly a six minute video, It'll take uh, around around 30 minutes, maybe. And I have a, an AMD uh, X4 955, so it's a quad core. Uh, if you have uh, some of the newer Intels, it'll be a lot quicker. Yeah, so uh, anyway, uh, this pretty much concludes the, 
these tutorials. Uh, hopefully, uh, they become some help uh, to somebody out there. And uh, so, anyway, uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, and uh, thanks for all, all those people who subscribe to my channel. Uh, anyway, until next time, this is LeBurn98 signing off.